to the Torium. Special things for this type of the young lady that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. So the cross product is given by the formula vector A cross vector B is equal to EN. So this is a unit vector in the direction of uh, unit vector perpendicular to the direction of A cross B. So we have also the absolute value of vector A times the absolute value of vector B sine theta A B. Okay. So the other term for cross product is vector product. So what does it mean? So the product of this um, this um, type of um, uh, pr uh, multiplications of two vectors is a vector. So to prove that, so we need to assume. So let's just assume that a, a vector a is equal to e x and i is a j but i plus a y j plus a z k and vector b is equal to um, b x i plus b y uh, j plus b z k j move it up a little bit okay so if we will say um, vector a cross vector b so we'll have um, we'll just distribute um, each of the term from vector a to each of the term of vector b so we just do that as ax i cross bx i plus byj plus bzk then we have plus so we have to eyj bxi plus byj plus bzk then we have plus azk so we have bxi plus byj plus bz okay okay then we'll just distribute each one so we have so this one distribute to each of the term on the parentheses so we have e sub x times b sub x so that is scalar it's just scalar multiplication then we have i cross i plus um, ex times by this will be i cross j plus ax bz and this will be i cross k then we have plus a y um, b x uh, j cross i plus a y b y j cross j plus plus we have a y so sorry for that <laughs> I'm not sub um, um, I am full with my lunch already so we have um, this will be j cross k plus we have we have 
have AZ times BX, okay? K cross I plus AZ BY K cross J plus AZ BZ K cross K A. So we have now the, the expanded um, part much um, yes it was given so we have the expanded part of our cross product so now we need to get the value of this um, the cross product of each of the unit vectors okay so to get the um, the cross product of each of the unit vector so we just have this one here below Okay, so to get that one, maybe we just have it on the other side. So to get that one, we need to remember the definition of a cross product. So for example, we have an I cross I. So our our equivalent for this one is we have a certain unit vector here, EN, times the absolute value of our uh, vectors. So for this case, the I times sign the angle between of uh, between the two vectors which is for this one this is the same vector therefore the angle between them is zero so therefore this is equal also to zero so it goes that we have also j cross j this is just also zero and k cross k is equal to zero so if we get the cross product of a unit vector by itself so the answer will be equal to zero now, if you are going to have the unit vector, for example, I cross J, we are going a bit lower to conserve the space. So we have I cross J. So the, the unit vector which is perpendicular to these two is K. So the have the absolute value of i, the absolute value of j, sine, the angle between them. So because they are perpendicular with the real vectors, so this is 90. So this is equal to 1. The absolute value of unit vectors are 1 also. So i cross j is equal to k. So the same goes if we have j cross k. So this is equal to This will be equal to I, at, and if we have K cross I, so this will be equal to J. Now, if we will reverse this one, so because we have reversed the direction, so or the the we reverse the direction of each of the unit vector, therefore the angle now between them is negative ninety, and sine negative ninety is equal to negative one. So we could say that um, J cross i is equal to negative k then you have k cross j is equal to negative i and i cross k is equal to negative j so knowing this one we can now substitute the value of that one to our um, equation so we have for our i i cross i so this is zero j cross j a uh, j is zero and k cross uh, k is also zero so i cross j i cross j so this is equal to k so this is k then we have i cross k i cross k is negative j okay then we have then we have j cross i so j cross i this is negative k then j cross k so j cross k so this is equal to i then we have k cross i okay let's move here k 
cross i so this is j and k cross j is equal to negative i okay then we will have so this one we will have so we we'll just write here the the remaining terms we have i uh, a sub x by so the 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 unit vector for that one is k plus a cross bz so this is negative j plus ky dx this is negative k then plus ay bz so this is i the unit vector for this one is i plus az dx so the unit vector for this one is j then we have plus az dy is equal to negative i okay so that is the unit vector so we just combine now like terms so first we will go for the i so the vector i so we will have a y b z so this is negative so you have minus a z b y i then we will go to now to j in the vector j okay so we have plus so that will be we just look for positive j so we have a z b x minus this one a x b z this is j plus now, now go for k so we have so we have e x so this is positive k b y minus a y bx k so and this is now what the value what the uh, equivalent ter equation of a cross b so as you can see so our product still has unit vector so therefore the product is a vector quantity so as you can see the the um, answer itself when we just have here the variables is quite um, co cumbersome and also the derivation itself is also quite cumbersome so there is a technique in getting this one and the technique will be discussed on our next video so that we could uh, we we will not have um, uh, we will not be um, memorizing these terms here so we just use that other technique that technique is much easier so if you know how to the concept of metrics then therefore you can uh, answer this or get this one immediately okay but as of now that is what we have for this video so we have proven that the that the product of a cross product is a vector so thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something and as always enjoy learning